Hi everyone, uh, this is Mike here and today we're going to talk about how to process your wedding. So uh, as you can see, I uploaded all the photos and I put them on Aperture. And um, I'm using two screens over here. One screen is showing me all the thumbnails so that I can see uh, what's going on and what do I have to work with. And another screen showing me the big picture so I can see the big image. Um, as you can see, I got a few shots of the dress. Uh, some close-ups on the details, um, I have some shots of the shoes, you know, uh, a bunch of shots of the you know, placement cards, the rings, um, lots and lots of shots. So as you can see, some of the bride shot right there. So basically, as you can see, I have a lot of shots and some shots are repeating themselves, kind of like this, you know the flower girls coming down the aisle so I want to select the best shots and the way to do this is to use the star system on Aperture so what we're going to do is we're going to go over all the photos and select them using the star system one star, two stars and three stars when one star is a keeper two stars is great shot uh, that we're going to be maybe a favorite and then three stars it's going to be definitely one of my favorites um, from the day. So I'm going to do that. And once I'm done, I'm going to get back to you guys. And we're going to see a little more about what's the next step. One thing to remember is uh, when you have similar shots, let's say like these two shots of the rings, um, and you want to see exactly what's the differences, you can uh, shift select the two shots, then you'll see them on the screen. Then you're going to press the Z key, Z key on the keyboard to zoom in into the shots. And then what you will see is you will see the details of the two shots. And with the space bar, you can have a hand and move this so that you can see. Or you have a little thumbnail here that shows you like where the image is. And you can use that to position the shots. And then you can really see the details of the two shots. And you can see that this one is a little sharper than this one. So basically I'm going to use that one for the final, um, for the final selection. So that was the top one. So I'm going to mark the top one. I'm going to option, command, command on the, on the Mac. I'm going to command select the, the not so good one, the not so sharp one. And then I'm going to keep the best one and three star it. So I press the, the key three. On the, on the keyboard, I press the number 3 to select that one and basically now I have a selection of the best shot out of the 3. So that's how you uh, narrow it down when you have similar shots. Basically what I've done is I went over all the photos and now I'm left with about 57 photos which are the best photos of the wedding. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over them real quick uh, just to kind of make sure I got all the details and everything and you can see all the images there. Um, and basically now the, the thing that is that I have left to do is to process these images. So uh, by processing I mean that I'm going to make sure all the uh, white balances are correct, um, make sure to enhance the images, you know, do some effects on them, maybe some black and white. I think that photo would look great in black and white. Um, you know, a bunch of shots here would look good uh, in a little bit more contrasty. Get some vibra vibrancy on on them, and um, you know, I love this shot. The, the, the moment there is so cute. <laughs> and um, anyway, so now that's the next step is to process the images. Um, like this shot would look great, a little bit more, you know, contrasty and uh, vibrant with the colors. So I'm going to process these images and um, once I'm done processing them, I will get back to you guys and show you uh, the final version of each one. I love that shot right there. Um, so basically, I'll process these images and we'll get back to you right away. Okay, so now I'm done with the, all the processing of the images in Lightroom. I haven't taken it to Photoshop yet, uh, but basically in Lightroom or Aperture. Um, I'm working with Aperture today. I'm working with both. 
So, um, hi, so now I'm done with all the processing of the photos in uh, Aperture and um, I'm now going to take it to Photoshop for final retouching, you know, just the minor things and also putting all the borders and um, all the details that I want for the, um, you know, for the final look of uh, posting all the photos online. So basically this is the final version of all the images. Um, as you can see the images are a little bit enhanced. Um, I can post a little bit of a before and after in the video that I will do and I'll post all these images in the video too. Um, so you'll see at the end of the video some before and after shots and um, you know all the images. So. Um, these are the images, this is the final version of the uh, rings. As you can see, if you press the M key at the, on your keyboard, it will take you to a master view. So this is how the image was shot, and then this is the editing I was doing. So again, the image, the way it was shot, and then the editing done. Uh, so for example, black and white. So again, if you press the M key, that's the original shot and then the processing to black and white. So at the end of the slideshow I'll post all the photos uh, that I've picked and uh, basically I'll post also a few before and after shots. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoy the photos and I'll be back soon with some more uh, video tutorials on how to work with photos. Thank you so much, have a great day and stay tuned on my um, my YouTube and my blog I can't promise to buy you Or steal you the stars from the moon I can't promise the rest of our lives We'll sing like the usual love too But this much I know I'd regret it the rest of my days If I never said I love you I do cherish you And I do adore I do promise you that I do love you. Yes, I. I'll never